I want to take a second to talk about Julius Randle and why he's still on the Knicks. Now, the other day, a fan posted a picture of the Knicks team store saying that they're not selling Julius Randle jerseys anymore, which later we found out isn't true. But still, Julius Randle took to the internet and responded in a joking manner, basically, but saying like, okay, this is how y'all do me. But when I see that, it got me to thinking, the Knicks really don't need Julius Randle anymore. Like, I truly feel he's not a piece for the future. Him going there when he went there was very important. He helped keep the team afloat. He helped get Jalen Brunson there. But now that Jalen Brunson's there, OG Ananobi, Mikael Bridges, all the Villanova boys. And then after they've seen success without Julius Randle, and you kind of look and see what the team looks like, it's like, I don't think they really need to try to fit in an isolation player into the mix when Jalen Brunson is a great player. We really, we're behind Jalen Brunson. He's going to be the one to lead us, not Julius. And you know, the truth about Julius Randle to me is that he plays like a number one option. He wants to get paid like a number one option. But to be completely honest, if it was a championship team, he's really should be like a number three option on a championship team. That's the role that he should play. He's talented enough to play beyond his means throughout the season, and he can average 24, 25 points. If you want to win with him on your team in the NBA, his role shouldn't be the main guy. And we've kind of seen that in years past in the playoffs. He kind of struggles at times. Two years ago in the playoffs, playing next to Jalen Brunson, in 10 games, he averaged 16 points and eight rebounds. But he did that on 37 percent shooting from the field right and the thing with him is you know in the playoffs is you can always see where his shortcomings are once another team scouts you know really locks in on a team in a role that's when julius Randle really struggles so you know jalen brunson averaged 27 in that same postseason to julius Randle averaging 16 right rj barrett averaged more points which is just it's unacceptable low-key then you look at last year jalen brunson they get to the semifinals with no julius Randle because he's injured jalen brunson averaged 32 points per game in 13 games and they got good minutes from everybody, DiVincenzo, and Anobi, Josh Hart. So now the Knicks are just adding Mikael Bridges to the mix, right? So adding Mikael Bridges and Julius Randle to that will be tough, and Julius Randle will not be the same player. So the question is, why do you have someone who's overqualifies for the role you need them to play? And then also, at heart, they don't want to play that position. Julius Randle does not want to be the third option. The level of isolation player you need him to be, if that's the role he wants, he's not that good at that role. Listen to Zach Lowe, he says, Julius Randle Randall would be the ideal sixth man, but he is a two-time All-NBA player. So how can you ask him to make that sacrifice? And if you feel like that about a player, one of your best players, then, you know, it's time to make a trade. I feel like if you're going to add Mikael Bridges, the Knicks just need another big because losing Hartenstein and now they only have Mitchell Robinson. So I would try to flip Julius Randle into some good role players. Think about the math and the bigs that they have and how much, how important and crucial they are to the team, especially because that team relies on their guard right pick and rolls. I would try to flip Julius Randle for a big who's amazing in the pick and roll situation. According to Brian Windhorst, Julius Randle's contract is extraordinarily tradable. The Knicks need a Tyson Chandler type of player or Lively from Dallas. Can you try to make Julius Randle fit in that role? Yes. Does he want to play in that role? Who knows? Once you are in the NBA and you accept a lesser role, that is officially your role in the NBA. So Julius Randle, who's about to be 30, he's entering his prime. Right now, he's at a crossroads. Does he want to be the guy? Get all the money or does he want to be a piece on the winning team?